Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Wednesday, February 14th, or Ash Wednesday, or Valentine's Day 2024. In this video, I'll walk you through my usual process of solving one of these hard Sudokus. I'd like to give a shout out to Ranks, R-A-N-G-S-K. Go follow his channel if you want more systematic and even faster Souls of New York Times Hard Sudokus. He's been at this a lot longer than I have, but it was basically his channel and following along through a few walkthroughs of his that gave me the confidence to try these hards and some more advanced solving techniques because I've been doing this almost a year and quite frankly the New York Times easies got too easy for me. So I wanted to challenge myself a bit further. Now in this video I'll walk you through my normal process of solving these things. I'll go through single scanning and then looking for hidden pairs and triples. You probably don't need more advanced techniques than that if you if you like what you see. Don't be afraid to comment on my strategy or leave a like. And with that, let's get going. In the top three rows, I've got a four in row two and a four in row three. I can place a four in row one in box three, but I think that's the only repeat digit I get. If I look at the middle three rows, I can place a six in box six in row four based on this six and that one. And if I go to the bottom three rows, Okay, well, that's interesting. I've got 3 and 1 in rows 9 and 7. Therefore, 3 and 1 must be in two of these three cells. Well, actually, only the 1 can go here. Uh, the 3 has to go in one of those two. And this can't be 1 because of the 1 looking down at it. If 3 and 1 don't exist, then I have 2, 5, 6, 4, 8, and 7 once each. So I'm done there. Now, if I look by columns, I have a lot of repeats. 4, 6, and 3 all have two of them. If I start with 4, here's 1 and here's 1, so I can place a 4 in column 2. 6, I can place in column 3. And 3... I can place in column three in the same, yeah, whoops, in column three, but this box. Now I'm done there. Uh, twos, I think, are the only thing I'm going to get in the middle three columns. I can place a two in one of two places in column four based on the positions in five and six. If twos don't exist, I've got one, nine, four, five, six, three, seven. I think I'm done. Okay, in the rightmost three columns, I can place a five in one of three places. What? I keep misidentifying the boxes today. These two fives mean a five in one of those two. This can't be five because of that. So this one it definitely is, and that's a place digit. It's eight that goes in one of those two. And after all that, I was really hoping I'd get more than one digit out of it. Hmm. Well, let's see. 1, 9, 2, 4, but 3 and 5 cannot appear in those cells. 3 and 5 must appear in two of these three cells. This can't be 3, so 3 is in one of two places. These can't be 5, so 5 is in one of those two places. Okay, that puts a 5 up there. This 3 and that virtual 3 is going to put a 3 up here someplace. Okay, two of these cells are definitely 3 and 4. But I don't know much beyond that. Okay, are there any digits that cross into a box? Oh, six is already limited. Berg. Okay, these five cells cannot be two, five, seven, and eight. 
So they are from one, three, four, six, nine. Okay, those those can't be nine. So I've got nine in one of two spots. But neither of these are six. And this is one. Oh, none of those can be four. So four's in one of only two spots. In the row, seven here. Along with six, seven, eight, nine. That's C7 and 8. This C6 and 7. Well, actually, wait a minute. I just discovered something. 1, 2, 3, 5 are in row 7. Now, that leaves 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, but none of these three cells can be 4 or 6. That's a 7, 8, 9 triple. And that gives me something useful because I can immediately rule out those can't be 8 or 9, so this must be 4. This can't be 9 by triple logic, or 4 because I just placed it. That's a 6. So I know what cell is not 6 in column 7. Okay, I've got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 in column 6. I need 1, 3, 8, and 9 to fill out the rest. These both see 1 and 9. This one also sees 3, so that's a hidden 8. Now this sees 1, 8, 9. That must be 3. So these last two must be a 1, 9 pair. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. So those are 5, 6, 7, and that's going to be a triple. I was hoping I'd get some more useful digits, but I'm going to be at a premium for finding things, I suspect. 2, 3, 4, 7. I need 1, 5, 6, 8, 9 for the remainder of box 8, but 6, 8, 9, guess what? Th these can't be 6 or 8, so this is 1, 5, 9, and that's another triple. This isn't 1. That's not 9. So that exactly works out brilliantly. Now, these are 6 and 8 to fill out the box, and I don't know the order yet. But that's going to give me 5 digits in row 8, and 5 digits in, well, actually 6 digits in row 8, 5 digits in row 9. If we go by the 6 digits in row 8, I'm missing what appears to be 2, 3, and 7. Okay, and that's yet another triple. 1, 3, 6, 7, 8. So 2, 5, 6, and 9. Actually, for row 9, but this is the only place for 5. I may as well just write it in. So those are 2, 6, 9. That's another triple. This happens to see 2 and 6 in the box already. That's a 9. And now that's 2. That's... Ah, wait a minute. Okay, we have a problem here. Because those two most both be 8. That's not possible. And these can't both be 6. Okay, I misidentified the triple here. 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are 2, 4, and 9. Okay, that feels better. This is definitely not 2. So 2, 4, 9 here means this can't be 2, so that's a 3. This is now 7, which makes that 2. 3 means those are not 3. And that's not 3. And this 5 means that's not 5. Okay. 1, 5, 7, 8. I need 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, which I have various combinations of here and here. And that will fill out column 9. Now this is 2 and 9. Nothing else is seen in the box. That's not 3 and 4. That's not 3 and 4. 
Well, three's in one of two spots only, but I don't have much else to go on. Uh, well, I'm going to have to start looking at the left side of the grid. 2, 3, 4, 6 says I need 1, 5, 7, 8, 9 in column 1. Eight, this isn't 5 or 9. That's not 5, 7 or 9. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, so I placed 5 in here, so those aren't 5. These aren't 5 by placed and given. That's not 5 by given. The only place for 5 in column 1 is there. Okay, 3, 5, 6, 9 in column 2. I need 1, 2, 4, 7, 8 to fill out the rest. This sees 1 and 2 along with 4. That just sees 4 in its box. This only gets rid of 7. That gets rid of 2 and 8. Well, that's interesting. Six, nine. Uh, one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So five has to be in one of those. I need to place a five, and it can't go here, or here, or here. So these two fives, and those two, I mean, that's a five. Okay, this has to be three and something, but I don't know what the something is. This is one, four, five, six, seven, nine. That's two, three, or eight. Oh, this still could be seven, erg. And indeed nine. Not, nope. It sees nine in the box already, okay. Yep, well, I've got six there. Column one. One, four, and five are out. By column three by box logic. This one not two and nine. That one's not eight. Okay, that's you know, rather useless. Okay, uh, three, four, five, eight. So one, two, six, seven, nine to fill out row three. That can't be two. Six, seven, and nine are still possible. Let's see, these are not two, five, six, and eight. By row logic. That one drops one and three. That one drops four and nine. Both by column logic, well. This can't be 3. This can't be 3. These aren't 3 by placement, so that's a 3. Okay, I've got 2, 3, 4, 9 in column 5. I'm left with 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, but both of these see 5 and 6. That gets rid of 7. Okay, so the, oh, that's a one eight pair in the row. Okay, so this isn't one or eight. That's not eight. That's not one. This is going to be from two, three, four, and nine, but it sees three. This one, I don't see pairs in the box or anything like that. Uh, it sees one and three already. Four is still out there. Five and six definitely are not. Neither is nine, but seven and eight are. Hmm. I have nothing useful there. Okay, those cells are the only ones left. Let's see, this sees 1, 2, 5, and 9. 
three, six, seven. This sees one, two, five, and nine, along with eight. This cell sees three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, eight. Okay, I'm left with this configuration now. Seven, eight pair in column two. This is not seven or eight. And that's not seven. Okay, I've now got a one, two pair. Uh, one, two, four triple in column two. Still got a one nine there. That isn't resolved. Let's see, this one eight has nothing else being one or eight. Okay, maybe there's a box pair that I'm not seeing someplace. Hmm. Well, no. Yeah, six is there. Eight's in one of these, four's in one of these. Now, this annoyingly could still be four. I think. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. <sighs> oh, one could still be in three spots, erg. That's good one there. Yeah, I feel like this is going to turn into a hidden 3-4 pair. I'm not quite sure how to go about that, though. I feel like this is going to end up as a three. Let's see, sevens, well, sevens are one of those, but that doesn't help me. Let's see, oh, eight has to be one of those, doesn't it? So if this is eight, then this isn't. Well, this, if this one's eight, then that turns into a three, four pair. Hmm. I want to eliminate 
need seven from one of those positions, but I don't know how to do that. I have the same. No, the, <sighs> four has to be here, and two also has to be here. I have the same logic going here with the three, four pairs I do with a possible two, four there. But one's in one of two spots, seven's in one of two spots, as is eight. Nine isn't. Let's see, three means nothing else is a three. Eight must be one of those. That much we know. But two's in too many spots. And I've got two corner three and fours here. Can I say that that's a three four pair? I'm going to argue that that's a three four and. see where that goes, because that tells me this is an 8, and this is an 8. Now that 2 has to go there, because it's the only place in the column, though. So those end up being 6, 9. These are going to be 1, 7, because neither can be 6, 9. Which has the ripple effect of that's not one. Four nine is going to make that two. Could still be three, but six nine means that oh means that's not six and this is. A weird three four intersecting there. That's gonna be a little bit strange. Two makes that one seven one. Those aren't seven, so this turns into a five six, which makes that seven. These aren't seven. This is seven. One makes four, nine, one. Oh, and I've got no cell here. Okay, that's a problem. So let me rewind from that position. I was here, and I think I had incorrectly assumed 
I don't know whether this being a 3-4. was the issue, or whether something else was the issue. If this is 3-4, this must be 8. Therefore, that's 7, that's 6. Okay, neither of these are 6. That's not 7. So this isn't 7. Uh, that's a 1, 2, 9 triple. So this is forced to be an 8, I think. Yeah, 1, 2, 9 triple there, there, and there. So that's an 8. Which is two different ways to show that this cell is not 8. I think the other thing I'm going to have to say is that this is a 2-4 pair, but I... Let's see, that's not 8. I'm going to place one, neither is that. Oh, but 7 makes this 8. Ugh. This is an 8. Which doesn't quite unwind to that triple. I was hoping it did. Wait a minute. That can't be 9. Oh, these can't be 9. So 9 was definitely one of these, which means none of those could have been 9 to begin with. I've got a 6, 7 there. I don't know, quite know what to do with it. Definitely there, but I think two, six, and seven still cross the region, don't they? I still have eight in too many spots. Yeah. If I claim this is two, four. And this one is not 4 as a consequence. 2 and 4 are only in those spots. Okay, what does that help me with? The honest to goodness answer at the start is not much. Other than, oh, 1 8. This is a 2 3 4 triple, I think. 9 is forced to go there. That's the only place in the row, in row 5. So I know one cell that isn't 9. This is a 1 4 pair. So this can't be 1. This can't be 4. 2 9 here, but this 9 is going to make that 4. Okay, that's a 2-9 pair at the bottom of row 9. This is not 4. More importantly, that's not 9, so I'm, uh, 4 is going to make 3-4 up there. That's not 4, that's not 3. Oh, 1, 4 means this can't be 1. So 6, 3. Uh, 
These are down to 1 and 7. In column 8. 3 makes this not 3, therefore that must be. So that's down to 2, 7, 9, triple in column 3. Okay, you'd think it would be relatively straightforward from here. Seven still isn't one too many spots, isn't it? Wait a minute. So those two are the only places in box five. Which means this can't be eight, that's six. Now this is the only place for seven. No, there's still a seven here. This is six, that's eight. Else is eight. Ay caramba. Okay, what am I missing in the box? That's obvious. Nine is definitely there. No, those can't be one. Oh, I knew that could still be one. Fill sticks. It's definitely here, but that doesn't tell us anything we don't know. But these aren't so th these cannot be seven. So this seven and that one. So seven must go there. Okay, that tells me this cell cannot be seven. One eight, which is gonna sort out that one five nine triple in row eight. That might be what we're looking for. Seven Nine. This is down to one four. That makes sense. Oh, two four and one eight. That makes sense. Seven comes up here. Six. That has to be five. That has to be seven. That triples unwound. One seven. This can't be six. So that's a two, which makes that nine and that six. This nine comes down here. Row nine is resolved. One comes over here, makes it two to finish the row, nine to finish the box, four, and then one to finish column two. One makes this eight, makes that seven, that two, and box four is complete. One, seven, no, nine, seven, that was just a mistype. Two, four. This can't be eight, so that's a one. Is that one eight? This one in row six makes that four and one. Oh, that was not pretty. I'm still not sure about the logic there, but perhaps I can go look in some other solves of this to figure it out because I think I just got lucky. But be that as it may, thank you for joining me.